All right, today everybody, we're going to talk about how to find the area of the circle. I wasn't here last week. Yeah, I'm aware of that. What I miss. You'll need to come in and talk to me personally, and then we'll go over what you're missing. But now is the only time I see you. Just come in at consultation, okay? I have to go to the bathroom at consultation, and then I gotta eat my lunch, and then I gotta go by the vending machines and get more lunch. Okay, seriously, you're making this all about you right now, and I really need the class's attention, so let's just talk about this later. Okay, fine. All right, so has anyone worked with finding the area of the circle? Yes. yes. So then you know what pi is, right? Who doesn't? So then what's pi? Delicious. So basically pi is the ratio of the circumference of the circle to its diameter. What the? Do we know that much? Yes. No. Okay, so the length goes around 3.14 times, approximately. Are we, are we correct on yes. that? Yes. No, no, no. Uh, may yeah, I meant, yeah, no, 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 it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, I meant yes, of course. Continue. All right, now does anyone know the equation for the area of the circle? Yes. yes. All right, so does anyone think they can tell me what it is? No. So it's pi times the radius squared. Right? Right, right. All right, so if I do this circle, do we know what the radius of this circle is? Yes. Yes. No. I, I don't know. Yeah? No. 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 So of course we don't know what the radius is yet, because I haven't written anything up there. But what if I put a number in for the radius? Then could you find the area? No. OK, wait, no? Why, why is that? I can do it. All right, then let's just say it's three. Okay. 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 okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that number and we're gonna put it into the equation. Our equation pi r squared, right? So pi three squared. Okay. okay. What? So at this point, you're gonna square your three and you're gonna multiply it by nine, but of course we wanna switch it, so nine pi is our area. Okay, so now, was that so hard? No. All right, so now that you know the area of the circle, you guys are totally ready to move on. We're gonna work on some calculus next. 